Hello everyone, welcome back to today's video. Today we are checking out a chat roleplay resource. We had slash 911, um, all that good stuff. All those resources that people have been asking me to do for chat type of commands. So you have dispatch slash me, all that good stuff is in here as well. Um, so if you were looking for something like this, this is a simple um, standalone resource um, just for all of that. So. If you want to check it out, let's go to the resource page, top of the description, make sure you're subscribed as well, only 11% of you are subscribed, so it'd be amazing if you could all subscribe some more. Um, I can't wait to showcase what we have coming up in the next few months, um, lots of cool stuff coming, so stay tuned. Anyway, if you go to the resource page, go ahead and download version 2, version 1 just has the lowercase dispatch, version 2 has a capitalized version of dispatch and slash me. So Mies also has a capitalization. I think the capitalization looks better, so I'm just going to download version 2. Inside of this folder, you can see it has all of the different files. Um, so all you have to do is go to your server data resources folder, wherever this may be for you. If you're on Zap hosting, it's you through FTP. If you're on TX admin, it's in your TX data folder. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to drag this into your resources folder, just like that. Very, very easy to do. Um, the, it is pretty straightforward. If you edit these files with Notepad++, if you've had any type of scripting experience, you can pretty much figure out what this does and you can always duplicate it if you need more, all that good stuff. Um, so feel free to, you could add technically add more by just copying and pasting the file and switching up the, um, cause pretty much all the code's the same. You just switch uh, what your, uh, the first chat message is and the command. So you could technically add as many as you want, custom ones, whatever you want to do is all possible there. So feel free to use that if you're interested. And then the folder is just named commands. So we go back to our server.cfg file, edit it with notepad or notepad++, and just add ensure commands, because that is the name of the folder we have here. And then if we go ahead and start up our server, the way to see if everything worked properly is to check console and make sure you see started resource commands. And that is going to be um, the way that it starts up. Give EUP a minute if you have EUP, because it does take a while on your first startup. And then once you um, keep going in here, you can see started resource commands, and I know it's working perfectly. So now we can actually go ahead and try to hop in game and try out these commands. All right, so we are in game here, and you can see in the top left-hand corner, I ran the different commands. Obviously, I did slash do thinking it had that, but it doesn't, but you could always add that because it's pretty easy to do so um, by editing those files. Um, just to show you how you would do this in a way is if I go into the server data resources folder, go back to my commands folder, and then if I just go and literally just go ahead and copy, if I want it to be the same color as like slash me, I'll copy me, replace it, call it like do or something, do.lula, and then I would go into the notepad plus plus, switch it to do, so switch to, to slash do, and then switch me to capital do, just like that. Keep everything else because it's going to use the same exact thing. Uh, go away, Sea Cleaner. We don't need you. Um, and we're just going to go ahead and save this. And then if we go back to that folder, the resource underscore underscore resource dot Lua, all we have to do is literally copy this and add in server script and then add in do dot Lula just like that. And this is going to work exactly the same way with slash do. So we just literally in 30 seconds modified this script to add a command that we wanted in our server. Took 30 seconds, not more than that. Very, very easy. So you can obviously do this if you want to on your server. So that is it for today. Hopefully you did learn a little bit on how to actually work on resources and modify them for your needs and also just to how to install this resource overall. So if you have any questions for um, the resource author, leave them on the thread. If you have any questions for me, leave them down in the comments. And if you are suggesting a resource, please make sure to leave a link to one um, because it's really, really hard for me to track down everything people suggest, especially when there's so many different sites and documentations uh, for every single name. So please make sure to leave a link. Anyway, thank you so much for hanging out today and I will see you in the next video tomorrow. Happy beginning of November to you all. See you all soon. Goodbye.